So we're studying the Mesophotic and Deep Sea Coral Ecosystems off of Western Puerto Rico. And we're interested in quantifying and detecting reactive oxygen species dynamics, uh, specifically superoxide and hydrogen peroxide that are produced by um, corals and sponges in these areas. We care about reactive oxygen species because they can have a wide variety of implications for organismal physiology. So in humans, for example, in neurodegenerative diseases or in Alzheimer's and cancer, you can see the overproduction of reactive oxygen species, which is why there's this like incentive to take antioxidants to get rid of excess ROS in our bodies. So with the funding of Schmidt Marine Technology Partners, Colleen Hansel's lab has been developing the first kind of series of in situ reactive oxygen species sensors that can be used in aqueous environments. The way that we're monitoring the health of these corals is by using a sensor called DISCO, the diver-operated submersible chemiluminescent sensor. Basically, what this instrument does, affectionately named DISCO, uh, it measures these reactive compounds that these corals produce. It is essentially a compact box that can be taken into the ocean or any type of aqueous body of water by a diver. We've developed our DISCO instrument for measuring surface environments where a diver could reach, but in order to reach those deep sea corals, we need to develop a whole different type of instrument. We couldn't take DISCO down to the bottom of the ocean. It doesn't have the right pressure tolerance. It doesn't have the right kind of robust body to be strapped on to a submersible. And as a result, Solaris was born. So DISCO was the first kind of ROS sensor that Colleen Hansel's lab developed. And we used that as the mechanical framework to build Solaris off of. And Solaris essentially has the same internal skeleton, but it has a new body to tolerate these high pressure environments. So this has been a really great deployment of Solaris and highlighting its capabilities, being able to span deep ocean research in uh, deep ocean environments and ecosystems. And so between DISCO and Solaris, we really cover the breadth and depth of the ocean. Yes! Well done! Because what we've seen here in Puerto Rico is completely different than what we've seen before in other areas like the Pacific Ocean. And so this now raises exciting new questions like how do corals allocate their energy resources as a function of their surroundings and their environment. And so I think what's really exciting is that this is going to springboard us into a whole new area of understanding the biogeochemistry of corals.